How to make ear saver comfort bars using Moldstar 20T silicone rubber and Smoothcast 65D semi-rigid casting resin. Now, in today's video, I'm faced with a problem that I was wanting to solve, and that problem is the uh, face mask that we have to wear. You can see that they actually pull on the ears and make it quite uncomfortable after a while and for that we're going to show you how to make these ear saver comfort bars uh, they're basic uh, shapes and easy to reproduce and uh, for the project itself we wanted to make sure we chose the right product so it has to be impact resistant or, or semi-rigid bendable uh, but yet strong and durable so for the project the goals that we wanting to meet is to provide a long-term relief to your ears when wearing these masks want to make sure that we choose the right casting resin that's durable and we want to create a multi-casting gang mold quickly and easily. Now to start our project we first designed a model in a 3D program of the actual ear saver comfort bar and then we put it into a master pattern. So here you see the master pattern that's, a, that's available for download for you guys. You can use this. It's in the description below. And a master pattern like this will allow us to pull uh, multiple molds off of it without ever changing any of the dimensions, forms uh, of the original. So we can use this master pattern to pour silicone, which is going to cure into ready-to-use molds. Now here I'm going to add a couple of blocks of uh, sulfur-free um, oil-based clay. These blocks here are not only going to block out the uh, space from silicone filling it, but also going to create a space where we can pry the mold out of the mold box easily once it's cured. Now a pattern like this that is very tightly compact and has the model itself with uh, 90 degree sharp turns um, is going to be uh, a bit difficult to demold. So Ease Release 200 is uh, applied here using a spray brush spray technique. So spray a light coating on your uh, pattern. Use a dry clean brush to spread it around in every uh, uh, crevice and nook and then spray it one more time. Now the release agent is allowed five minutes to dry before proceeding to the next step. Now, before pouring any of the silicone into our mold box setup, make sure that the mold box is leveled and we don't end up spilling any of the material over onto the table. Now, for the material for our mold, we're using the Moldstar 20T. This is a platinum silicone rubber. It has a mix ratio of one to one by volume, so no gram scale is necessary. Keep in mind that this product has a short working time of six minutes with a full cure of 30 minutes. And um, we're going to go ahead and mark our dispensing cups one to one by volume. Simply mark it with a, a marker and then we can go ahead and dispense the part A and part B uh, to those lines that we marked. Now in a clean mixing container, we're going to combine the parts together. Always scrape your containers not to waste material and because this is a clear product uh, translucent product uh, we want to make sure we mix thoroughly so scrape the sides and scrape the bottom of your mixing container there's no color change indicator here of when you're mixed thoroughly so work fast and work thoroughly by scraping the sides and scraping the bottom the material is now poured into our mold box i'm going to pour it right in the middle and let the material seek its own level level. That way it pushes away any air bubbles from the model and finds its own level to fill the entire mold. Now the reason why I'm pouring in the middle here is so that the material has a uh, about equal amount to fill all around. It has a uh, equal distance to travel versus pouring at a corner and having to have the material travel all the way across the mold to fill it completely. The silicone is now allowed a uh, full 30 minutes to cure before demolding. To demold our mold, we're simply going to uh, cut out any of the silicone that uh, went over those uh, 
uh, clay blocks. Plug those out using a wood tool, and now those spots can be used to pry that mold open. Now, the model itself and the mold layout uh, have a lot of difficult angles. They are 90 degree vertical angles with a very sharp object, the model itself, and they're tightly packed in this mold. So when you demold this, go slowly. Uh, you can tug on it uh, quite a bit, but uh, don't tug on it too much in order uh, not to rip the mold itself. This is a freshly made mold, so keep that in mind. Now for our casting resin, we're using the SmoothCast 65D. This is a semi-rigid casting resin. It is a one-to-one -one mix ratio by volume, so no gram scale is necessary. But keep in mind, it has even a shorter working time of two and a half minutes with a cure of about 10 to 15 minutes. As always, you want to follow the mixing instructions of the materials. And as you can see on the side labels here, it says shake well before using. So we're going to pre-mix the A and B separately before dispensing. As always, you want to dispense your part B first with urethane plastics because the part A is sensitive to moisture. We can then go ahead and combine the A and B in a clean mixing container. And as always, scrape the sides, scrape the bottom of your mixing container. Uh, keep in mind the short working time, two and a half minutes. And once you mix thoroughly, we can go ahead and pour the material inside the mold. I'm simply going to pour right over the top here. I'm going to use a squeegee to push any of the extra material in any uh, cavities, crevices that weren't filled. Any of the extra material is simply scraped off the mold uh, our castings are allowed to a full cure. Again, the exotherm that you can see here is taking a little bit slower in the thinner sections right in the middle of our ear saver than in the corners where there's more material. We let these cure for 30 minutes and then we demolded them. I'm simply going to pop these out of the mold. To finish our castings, I'm going to use a deburring tool and just chase the edges to make them uh, smoother and more comfortable for the end user. These kind of tools are available from many different online distributors for all sorts of different materials, such as metals and plastics. So there you have a finished casting that's really durable because it's flexible, it's impact resistant, and will last a long time and be comfortable to be worn for long periods. Now here you can see how one of these ear saver comfort bars is supposed to be used. You actually clip the straps on this bar and not around your ears, which re, uh, will give you immediate relief on the ears because you don't have those straps tugging on them as you saw previously. The Moldstar 20T mold that we made is 2.3 pounds of material, which breaks down to about $23.50 per mold. The SmoothCast 65D castings that we made uh, for a single pour of 20, we ended up using 180 grams, which is about 0.4 pounds, which breaks down to about 8 grams or 12 cents per casting individually. Now, if you got inspired by this project and you would like to give your own projects a go and need some material, you can visit any one of our distributors around the world. And there you have it, an uh, easy to follow step-by-step -step procedure that I use to create a gang mold and dozens of castings of our project. Now, our goals for this project were met by using the correct products for the uh, fast-setting silicone for our silicone mold here to the casting resin that's durable and flexible by using the 65D. Now, if you have an idea about what we should do next, please let us know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Now, to keep up with our latest mold making, casting, and other videos, remember to subscribe.